I wonder if the, one of the reasons for success of Carl is that we all feel when we read about him, he's not James Bond. You might want to be James Bond and have that lifestyle and yeah, sure. sleep with all the women you yeah. want to sleep with. Yeah. He is something of a failure, except yeah. professionally. Yeah, sure. But he feels this immense. Tell us about the guilt he feels for, the, for his colleagues that he thinks he was responsible for. Yeah. You were talking about Hardy, the paralyzed person yeah. who was shot at the same incident as Carl and another colleague who was killed, actually. Well, something is happening in the head of Carl that I can't tell you. Yes. And Hardy <laughs> knows about that. Okay. He's not feeling guilt, you know, but they are buddies. That's it. Mm. And they were buddies all through their professional life. And he's taking care of his buddy. He's bringing him home. So that means really bringing him home. A paralyzed person in the bed, in his living room, is taking care of him. Not for guilt, not for shame, but because he's his, his buddy. Mm. That's why. Or, or, question mark. You never know, but in the mind of Car Hardy, a lot is going on. And he's not three-dimensional in my stories. Carl is, because you're in his head. Mm. As that is not. Mm. He will be later on. Mm. And Rose as well. I, I'm thinking about making him three-dimensional now, Hardy. Not in book number six, but maybe in number eight. So you can see what actually is the, the, the bond between them. Well, that's quite interesting, because talking about Assad again, and going back to Conan Doyle and Holmes and Watson, in those books, we are usually Watson looking at Sherlock yes. Holmes. Whereas in your books, mm. we are wondering what's going on in Assad's mind. Yeah. He makes these cryptic comments. Yeah. And what is he thinking? What is he doing? What yeah. has upset him? Yeah. He's the one, unlike the, the detective, we are on Karl Merck's side, yeah. which is an interesting approach. But you know, in Carl, a lot of things is happening that he's not really aware of. Mm. It will come up. It will appear. So therefore, he can be three-dimensional. We, we can use his point of view because he's not thinking about what's really going on. He's not very reflective about that. But Assad is clear in his head, I can tell you. And he, if I was in his head, you would know everything about the complete story. Also, the, the stories about Rose and Carl, because mm. maybe he knows.